Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We are alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. All right. Welcome, 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 family. Welcome to Faith Talk and Miracle Moments with yours truly, Bishop O. Olafe. There is a miracle with your name on it. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for joining me, my friend. Wherever you're watching from, you are welcome to this special moment of encounter, moment of power, moment of miracle. I believe that God has a miracle with your name on it. Let me know where you're joining from. Yes, when I see you, I'm going to love on you. I'm going to welcome you and I'm going to appreciate you. Uh, but I can't see you until you leave your comment or, you know, say hi to me wherever you're watching from. I want to be able to see you. I want to be able to love on you. This is Fit Talk and Miracle Moments with Bishop O. Olafe. So thank you for joining me. There is a miracle with your name on it. God will be doing great things in all our lives in this few minutes. So get ready and get excited about what God is about to do for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, let's get this going. Like, love, share, subscribe. Um, yes, you are welcome. I want you to like, I want you to love, I want you to subscribe to this broadcast right now. Share it and let many more people know that we are on. This is Faith Talk. I'm doing the same thing right where I am. Say hi and let me know where you're watching from. Glory be to God. When I see you leave a comment, I'm going to be able to recognize you in a minute. Okay, I see some of you joining already. Um, Josel is joining. Shalom from Kansas, I believe. Ashir is on. Ashir from Pakistan, I guess. So let me know where you're watching from. Tell me where you're watching from. Um, and share this broadcast. I have a word from God that is going to bless you, that's going to bring improvement to your life, that's going to bring the great change that you need in your life. God wants to better your life. God wants to improve your life. God wants to do something new in your life. So don't watch alone. I want you to like, share, subscribe, and let me know where you're watching from. When I see you, I'm going to love on you. I'm going to recognize you, and I'm going to celebrate you in a minute. So let me know where you're watching from. This is Faith Talk and Miracle Moments. Thank you for joining me. I'm trying to, sh I'm sharing also on my, uh, on my page. I'm live on my page. I'm also live on YouTube. I'm live on FM TV Live. So let me know where you're watching from and what channel you're watching from. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Let's keep sharing, keep sharing, keep liking. Leave a comment. Let me see you. Then I'm going to celebrate you in a minute all right let's do this keep liking keep sharing yes i'm gonna get i'm gonna be you know talking to you in a minute about what god has put in my heart i'm sharing this and i want you to do the same thing this is faith talk god is going to improve your life god's going to color your life if you are sick in your body get ready to be healed if you are down, get ready to be lifted. If you are oppressed in any way, get ready for your deliverance. Because I have a word from God for you. If you are poor, God will make you rich. Whatever the situation is, your life is going to be better. Yes, I can assure you that if you pay attention and you stay with me for a few minutes, I'm going to share with you things that will improve and better your life. So let me know where you're watching from. Leave a comment. I can't see you until you leave a comment. I'm live on my Facebook page. Uh, you also want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are watching on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook, like my Facebook page. Thank you for joining me, my friend. I appreciate you. I'm going to you know, see who is on in a minute, and I'm also going to love on you, but let's share. I'm trying to do the same thing here, trying to share to my page and also to get more people on. The more, the merrier. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right, I think I'm done sharing on my end right now, so let me get and concentrate with you right now. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I'm done sharing. Yes, I think I see... 
I see you. Let me see who is on. Okay. Your first time here, Joel. Thank you for joining. Joel, thank you for joining. Joel's first time here. Thank you for joining, uh, Joel. I appreciate you. My wife is also on. God bless you, my beloved wife. Thank you for joining. Yes, like, love, share, subscribe, bring more people on. I'm going to be talking to you about something that will bring gladness to your heart. Yes, this is Faith Talk and Miracle Moments. If you are just joining me with Bishop O. Olafe. My name is Bishop O. Olafe. Um, I have this broadcast every Tuesday at uh, the same time, 3.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time and 8.30 p.m. GMT. And God has put a word in my heart for you because God loves you. God wants to better your life. God wants to improve your life. I'm going to be talking to you about eight forces that can improve and better your life. Yes, your life is going to change. God wants to change your life. God wants to give you victory in your life. God wants to bring blessing, great blessings into your life. So this is a life transforming moment. Yes, this is a life transforming moment. But I don't want you to watch alone. I want you to like. I want you to share. If you are watching on, I'm also live on um, Twitter. If you are watching on Twitter, follow me at Bishop Olafe on Twitter so that anytime I send some powerful tweets, you can be notified. Yes, and if you are watching on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and follow me, and God will keep blessing you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, this is Faith Talk and Miracle Moments. God bless you. Let me see who is on. Then we're going to get into the word in a minute. Ashir is on. Let me know where you're watching from. I believe Ashir is from Pakistan. All right, glory be to God. Okay, what are we going to be talking about today? Let me get into the word, and we're going to begin to... Uh, move from there. I want to talk to you about, you know, eight powerful forces that can better and improve your life dramatically. Eight powerful forces. If you if you want a change in your life, whether in your health, your finances, your career, your relationship, I want you to, you know, fasten your seatbelt because I'm going to be sharing some profound things with you. Yes, some powerful things with you that will bring dramatic change to your life. Your life, you're going to begin to experience victory and success in your life. Your life is going to change for the better as we get into this world. So let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this person watching right now. And I thank you, oh God, Heavenly Father, for the desires of this person. I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you open your hand to satisfy this person's desire. Give this person watching right now a miracle. Let this person experience a change in his or her life. Let there be transformation in this person's life. I thank you, Father, and I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory be to God. Well, if you're also watching, I'm live also on fmtvlive.com. Um, our 24 hours, seven days a week, we have a Faith and Miracles TV network at 24 hours, seven days a week on your phone, on the go, anywhere you are. You can always watch there, fmtvlive.com. Watch it and share the good news with your friends and family. God bless you in Jesus' name. So what are the forces that can change your life? What are the forces that can bring dramatic change to your life? I started this teaching, um, I mean, maybe last week. So I'm not, I'm not going to go through it again. I'm not going to continue from where I stopped so you can catch up. What I want to talk to you today about, the first thing, the first force that I want to change your life is the force of faith. Force of faith. You see, there, you can, there are, we can live an extraordinary life or we can choose to live an ordinary life. But the life of faith is a life of adventure, is a life of victory, is a life of transformation. So your faith, your faith, your faith in God can bring improvement to your life. So you need to have faith in God. In fact, Jesus made a statement in Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus did a powerful miracle and his disciples were they were astonished. They were amazed 
and they asked him, they said, how did you do this miracle? How are you able to do this supernatural act? And Jesus said to them, have faith in God. Have faith in God. If you want your life to be better, if you want your life to improve, if you want a dramatic change in your life, you need to cultivate and have faith in God. Faith in God means have confidence in God's ability to bless you. Have confidence in God's ability to change your life. Have confidence in God's goodness. That's what faith in God is. So you need faith in God, a life of faith. You see, there are people, some people's life is boring. Some people's life is dry. There is nothing spectacular, nothing supernatural about their life because they lack faith. Those are the people that easily get depressed. Those are people that easily get, you know, discouraged. People who easily get upset with things because they feel that they want a change in their life, but they don't know what to do, you know, to activate the change they want in their life. What can bring the change you want in your life anytime, any day, is your faith in God. Faith in God can result in dramatic change in your life. So you need faith, you know, there is there is there are two kinds of life or maybe you know maybe more than two a person can have can live a life of doubt and unbelief or a life of fear worry and anxiety but when a person is living a life of doubt unbelief fear worry and anxiety that person's life is not going to change that person is going to continue to perpetuate the same struggle will be going through the same circle as if nothing is going to change. But if you can switch over and begin to live a life of faith, you're going to begin to live a life of possibilities, a life of victory, a life of triumph. That's the life of faith. And that's the life that God wants you and I to live, a life of faith. So I'm sharing with you today the forces that can change your life. So the first force we are considering today that I'm sharing with you is the force of faith. When you begin to live a life of faith, your life will change. Oh yes, your life will change. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, Apostle Paul was writing from experience because he also had a change in his life. When he met Jesus, he said, in Galatians 2.20, he said he became crucified with Christ. He became united with Jesus in his uh, sacrifice on the cross. And he said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Then he said, yet not I. The life which I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So the life of faith is a life of faith in God, life of faith in the Son of God, that is Jesus Christ, life of faith in what Jesus has done for you and I. So when, you, when a person begins to live a life of faith, the person will begin to live a life of possibilities. Oh, yes, because it is only in the realm of faith that everything is possible. Everything you desire, everything you want, it is available. It is possible when you begin to live a life of faith. So what can change your life is the faith in God, faith in Jesus, faith in what the goodness of God, faith in what God can do. So don't, don't leave a life of unbelief, a life of doubt. You know, I've, you know I've, I've seen people say, I don't believe in God. If you don't believe in God, it means you don't believe in miracles. You, you might not experience possibilities in your life. You know, you might not be able to see the impossible become possible because the God factor, my God, 
The God factor is what makes the impossible possible. Jesus said in Mark chapter number, um, Mark chapter 11, verse 23, he said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall be able to say to a mountain, and I tell you, people face mountains, maybe in your life right now, maybe there is a mountain confronting you. What is a mountain? A mountain is an opposition, a barrier, a difficulty, something that stands on your path to victory, on your path to success, to your desire, whatever it is. But you can move the mountains in the name of Jesus Christ. I see mountains moving right now. If you are faced with a mountain, as I'm speaking to you, believe God, that mountain will move for you. But you need to have faith in God and God's ability. So faith can help you move mountains. Yes, your mountain will move. That obstacle, that barrier, that thing standing between you and your dream, that thing you know, trying to stop you from making progress in your life, that thing that is trying to hinder you from going to places that God wants you to go, it can move. And in the name of Jesus Christ, it will move for you. That's what faith does. Faith removes mountains. It, in fact, faith can turn a mountain from his root. <laughs> every, every mountain has a root, but faith in God can help you to uproot the mountain from his root. Jesus said, watch this, Mark chapter 11. Thank you for joining. If you're just coming, we're talking about uh, forces. I'm sharing with you forces that can improve your life, forces that can change your life, forces that can better your life uh, dramatically. And God wants to, your life to improve the same way you desire an improvement in your life. God is for it. God wants your life to improve. But and how does God help us? God helps us to improve our life by giving us this revelation, this truth, these forces that can help to improve our lives. In Mark, Mark chapter number 11, let me read that scripture to you. Very powerful here. Mark chapter 11. You see, that's why I love the Bible. The Bible is a book, you know, of information that can change your life. Jesus said, for have faith in God, Mark eleven twenty two. 22. He said, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. So you can have what you say. You can have what you want. You can have your dream car, your dream home, your dream marriage. You can have the success you want in your life. You can come out of poverty. You can enter into prosperity. Yes, you can defeat the giant in your life. You can defeat the obstacle. Oh, yes, your life can change, but you need faith. Faith in God. What is faith? Faith is simply having confidence in God's ability to help you. You are not without help. You are not without help. Your story and your situation can change. The circumstances confronting you in your life, whatever they are, whether it is sickness in your body, that sickness can leave your body. Even right now, you just need to turn on your faith. You just need to turn on your faith. You know, I'm sharing with you what can change your life. The first thing we're looking at today is your faith. Another thing faith can do for you, faith can make the impossible possible. Oh, yes. Every impossibility in your life can be possible. When you, are, when you begin to operate in faith, nothing shall be impossible unto you. Nothing shall be impossible. So can I prophesy in the name of Jesus that the days of impossibility, they become history in your life from this moment. Every impossible thing 
in your life. I speak to it right now. And I command it to change in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to experience possibility. I don't know who told you that it is not possible. But I'm speaking to you as a man sent by God to you today. That those impossible situations will be made possible to you by your faith. By your faith. In Matthew, Jesus said something here. In Matthew chapter number 17. Matthew 17 and verse number 20. Number 20 it says, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove yes to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible to you. I love that. Nothing, nothing, nothing shall be impossible. That's why the life of faith is a life that activates possibilities. In fact, I heard somebody said, impossible is a word that exists only in the dictionary of fools. But I'm saying impossible is a word that exists only in the dictionary of people who have not embraced the life of faith. When you embrace the life of faith, everything will be possible. So don't settle for a life without faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in in Jesus. Have faith in the goodness of God. Have confidence in God's goodness to your life. God is good and he wants to do good to you, but God cannot help you when you don't believe in him. You see, um, in the Bible, there were two blind men. They were blind and they heard of Jesus and Jesus passed around them. So they followed him and they cried out to him. They were asking him for his help. One of the you know, difficult things to do is to heal the blind eyes, even in the natural. But Jesus asked them a question. Do you believe I can do this? They said, yes. Then he touched their eyes and he said to them, according to your faith, be it done to you. And immediately their eyes opened. They believed that even though they were blind, the touch of God can change that blindness. Your condition, your situation, your circumstance can change if you're going to begin to operate in faith. Your life will be better. Your life will be more colorful. So faith is a life of adventures. And that's the life that God wants you to live, the life of faith. And I'm praying that your faith will be activated from this moment as you are hearing the sound of my voice, that you become a person of faith. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing God's word. As you are hearing the word of God, now what, what is it going to do to you? It's going to build your faith. Yes, it's going to build your faith and it's going to erase your doubt. That's why you need to hear God's word. That's why my program here is called Faith Talk and Miracle Moment. I, because I want to cooperate with God to bring the improvement, the change, you know, that you need in your life. And the way your life can change is when your faith is activated. And the way your faith can be activated is when you hear of the promises of God the ability of God, God's plan to change your life. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I see change coming. Oh, I say, I see change coming. I see change happening in your life. I see change beginning from this moment in your health, in your finances. If you are sick in your body, your faith can make you whole. Yeah, you don't have to be sick another day in your life. You can walk out of sickness. You can be healed right there, right now. If you believe, he said, if you can believe, all things are possible to a person who believes. Don't ever believe that your story cannot change. That's why you have to get rid of your doubt. You see, get rid of doubt. Get rid of, you know, uh, fear. Get rid of unbelief. Begin to believe. 
listen, if you don't believe your story, if a person does not believe, the person's story stays the same. If a person believes, the person's story will change. So what do you want? The change you need in your life requires your participation. And the powerful force that you need, that's the force of faith. Because if you have faith, nothing shall be impossible. Yes, faith will make everything possible for you in your life. Glory to God. So I'm trusting God that your faith is activated, that your faith is coming alive. Just say, I believe God. Don't believe your situation. Don't believe your condition. Don't believe your circumstance. Believe God. Believe God. Believe his word. Believe in his goodness. So the first force I'm sharing with you today is the force of faith. I'm going to share the second thing with you in a minute right now. Let me see who is on. Who is watching? Yet. Yes. Yes. Let me see who is watching. What has he done in your life? Make him real. Okay. <laughs> yes. You see, my life is a life of faith. All I'm sharing with you, my life has changed. Somebody's asking, what has God done in my life? I live a life of faith. I have seen the impossible possible because of faith. Let me, let me share something with you that is coming to me. I used to be a sickler. I used to sick. I used to be very sick. When the weather changes, my body, my body chemistry would change. But I chose to believe God. One of the things I believe is that Jesus took my infirmity. Jesus took my sickness. I believe it when I read it. And I applied myself to it. And I can share with you to the glory of God. More than 20 something years now, I've not been sick one day. Why? Because I live by faith. Oh, yes. And you can come out of sickness. And I, yeah, so God can heal you when you believe. What else? You can move from poverty to live in abundance. Why am I able to share this word with you? Because of the things which I have tested of the goodness of God. So I'm encouraging you to believe God. You can go from zero to become a person that lives in abundance. By your faith, by your faith, your life can change. God has changed my life in every aspect of my life. Every aspect of my life has been changed by faith. In fact, the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. So I want to encourage you to release your faith. Believe in God and your story will change. Yes. Your story will change, and I see your story will be changed. Your story is changing in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm going to share the second thing with you, and I thank you for your participation. I see you participating. Joel, thank you for participating, and thank you for asking these questions, which is very which is very helpful. Yes, because somebody needs to know what is God doing, but most importantly, what God can do in your life. Yes, allow God to walk in your life by releasing your faith allow god to work in your life by releasing your faith i'm sharing with you forces that can change your life praise the lord the next thing i want to share with you but before i go there before i go there right now let me share let me let me let me let me, let me share with you um some powerful information here. i want to share the second thing that you need i'm talking about forces that can change your life i want to share with you uh, forces that can change your life. God bless you, Ashir. Thank you for joining. God bless you, Roselle. Thank you for joining. Yes, I see you all. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, the message is on. You can always watch it at, at your time, but thank God for those that are on right now. Let me share with you. Uh, let me encourage you to get some of these materials that will be a blessing to you. I have some powerful books that I want you to get uh, let me get that on the screen right now. I'm going to continue. I'm going to give you the next force in a minute. Look at this right now. I have some powerful books that can change your life. Watch this. This is a very powerful book. You can get my books on Amazon.com. You can visit Hoffman.org. They will change your life. This book here says God will fix it. 
These are ebooks, so you don't have to wait for me to mail it right where you are. You can just order the books and they'll be coming to you right where you are. If you want to, okay, let me put this information here for you. Yeah, the, so God will fix it. If you want God to fix anything in your life, this book will help you, you know, to receive the touch and the help of God. And God wants to fix the issues of your life, the circumstances, the condition confronting you. God is a fixer. You know, this book came out of a challenge I had many years ago. And I thought I've lost everything I had. But while I was on my way and saying, what am I going to do? I heard God said to me, I will fix it. And God fixed it, fixed all the challenges, turned the things around for me. And I believe that, you know, that's how this book was born. And God gave me the principles you know, he showed me what to do and every of the condition that, you know, that confronted me at that time, all the challenges, God fixed it supernaturally. So that's why I can write. And that's why I wrote this book. So it will help you, you know, and it will change your life. And I also have testimonies of people whose life were touched, you know, that was included after, you know, when I preached the same message over and over again to many people. And God has fixed things. In your life, do you have anything you want God to fix? In your health, in your career, in your relationship, this is a book you need to get. It's available on Amazon.com. If you, if you just go to Amazon.com, my bookstore there, or visit our, our website, Hoffman.org, you're going to get this book, ebook. You can download and start reading right now. And I'm talking about faith. You're going to receive faith from God's word, and your life is going to be better for it. This is another book here. Healing is the children's bread. Healing is the children's bread. I want to encourage you to get this book. It will change your life. Yes, you can, when you read this book, if you are sick in your body, get ready to be healed supernaturally. If you are, And you can also read this book and never be sick another day in your life. I was just sharing my testimony when Roselle was asking me, share your testimony of what God has done. This book also came because God, I've, I've been able to taste of the healing power of God. How not to be sick another day in your life. You're going to find it in this book. How not to be sick another day. You, see, you don't have to be sick another day in your life. Yes, because Jesus already paid the price for your divine health. And if you are sick in your body, you can recover, you know. And there are testimonies of people who have read this book. And they've recovered while they are reading this book against all odds. So God wants to heal you. And I will encourage you to get these are ebooks that will change your life. There is another, there's another book here. This, this is a very powerful book here. Uh, this are uh, my nugget series. Seven ideas that can revolutionize your life. Ideas rule the world. You just need one idea from God for your life to change, to revolutionize. This Little book here. There, this is this seven. When I say seven, is just nugget. You need something to think on, meditate to be able to provoke the idea that you need. So I will encourage you to get this book. One for each day. You know how a person thinks influences uh, or determines how a person lives. If you want to change your living, the first thing you're going to need to change is your thinking. I will say that again. If you want to change your living, you have to change your thinking. That's the, that's, in fact, that's the basis. If you can change what you are thinking about and how you think, you can begin to change your life in 24 hours. Your life can begin to turn around by just injecting a different way of thinking. And you can change your thinking until you change what you feed your mind. Until you change what you feed your mind. That's why information is very powerful. In this book, you're going to be able to assess, you know, uh, information that will trigger the flow of ideas into your mind. You see, many people claim to have financial problems. Can I shock you? There are no financial problems anywhere. People just have idea problems. Yeah. Once you have ideas, you're going to have more money than you know what to do with it. And I'm praying that God will begin to, you know, God will help you to get this book and stimulate your the ideas in your mind. 
and then you begin to have access to the resources that you need to fulfill God's purpose and God's assignment for your life. There's another book here. Thank you, Lord. Go forward. This book is for unstoppable progress. If you want to make unstoppable progress in your life, if you want to go forward further and faster, I will recommend this book for you. This is a book for progress. This is a book for advancement in life. And you need to keep making progress. The Bible says the path of the just is as the shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. There is a place forward for you. There's a place in your future. There's a glorious future calling upon, calling your name. You need to know how to make sure that you are not stuck. You are not stagnated and you are not going around in circles. This book will help you to begin to make unstoppable progress. So get it. You're going to assess information that will, you know, stimulate your wheels of progress. And all the clogs on the wheels of your progress will be eliminated when you begin to assess the revelation in this book. So I want to encourage you to get it. It will change your life. You know, if you go to Amazon.com, you can get it there or you can visit our, our bookstore on Hoffman.org on our website and your life is going to be better for it. Glory be to God. There is another book here, powerful book. This is Prayers That Open Up the Mind for Creativity. Yes, you need a creative force. God is creative. And when you begin to relate with God, one of the things you're going to do, you know, through prayer, you talk to God. We communicate with God through prayer. And when we begin to communicate to God through prayer, God begins to, you know, uh, deposit in us or give to us the gift that he has because God is creative. Look at the beautiful world we live in, the universe. It came out of the creativity of God. Look at your life. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. All the components of man, the components of man, but it came out of God's creativity. I was just thinking about you having your, your, your fingers without having nails. It's going to be very uncomfortable. But God is creative. He put in us everything that we need. And you can assess the creativity of God through prayer. When we talk to God in prayer, God listens. God listens and he pours his creativity into us. So I will encourage you to, you know, and people pray, but most times people don't know how to pray. When you are praying, you need to have the right prayer topics. That's why this book is very powerful. Prayer topics that will help you to pray and stir up your creativity. God will give you the grace. Get these books. They are all available. They will change your life. There's another prayer manual here. Prayers that work wonder for increase. Yes, you can increase. Everything in your life can increase. Your, your resources, your finances can increase. Your peace can increase. Your joy can increase. Yes, your life can increase. You can, you can experience increase. You just, and God wants us to increase. Yes, God is the one that increases us. He said, he said God will increase you and your household. But you just need to know how to pray. Like I said to you earlier on, prayer. God listens when we pray, but we just need to know how to pray. The prayer that is effective, prayer that gets results. Prayer is not just talking. Prayer is talking to God and, you know, allowing God to pour his goodness into your life, to bring the solution that you need, and God will increase you more and more. Get this book. They will help you. Lots of books there that will change your life. If you go to Amazon.com or Hoffman.org, you're going to find all these books there, seven more books are there. Seven ways to solve problems. Seven things to do when disappointments happen. Seven success secrets for the believers. Seven ways to make more money. Lots of books that will change your life there. And I want to encourage you to visit the bookstore, Amazon.com, or visit our website, Hoffman.org, and get all these life-transforming books, and they will change your life. Glory be to God. Well, if you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want me to pray with you, you want me to give you a personal prophecy from God. What is God saying about your life, about your situation? You can inbox me on Facebook or you can email me. The information is on your screen. Or you can text me. Text the word, the word love to the number you see on your screen. And you're going to connect with me one-on-one. -on -one, and I'll be glad to connect with you. I want to be able to, you know, uh, impact to you some spiritual gifts. 
to the end that your life can improve and your life can be better. Iron sharpened iron. Yes, the things which you have seen, which you have heard, which you have handled of the word of life, we want to be able to pass the same across to you so that your life can improve and be better. So please take advantage of the uh, information on the screen and I want to hear from you and God will bless you mightily. Glory be to God. Let me see who is on. I see, I see a lot of you on right now. Thank you for being a part of this. But I can't, I can't see you until you leave a comment. So I will encourage you to leave your comment. Even though you are on, I can't see you until you leave your comment. And God will bless you. When I see your comment, I'm going to love on you and I'm going to celebrate you. So let me go back. Well, if you want to know more about me and about our ministry, please visit our website, hoffan.org. H-O-F-F-A-N dot O-R-G. You're going to get more information about me and about our ministry. God bless you as you do that. We also want to invite you to come and worship God with us. If you're in the USA, if you're in the Atlanta metro area, you can be part of our services live anywhere. If you, We have three powerful locations in the Atlanta metro area. We have a location in Smyrna, another location in Petrie Corners. We also have another location in Hiram. So. If you are in the USA, you are in the Atlanta metro area, you can be part of our services. We're going to love on you. We're going to be glad to have you come around. So please uh, take advantage. Go to the website, hoffan.org. You're going to get the information and the location, address, and the times of our services. Just take note that our times are Eastern Standard Time. Praise God. All right. Let's get back to the teaching. I'm excited. I'm sharing with you today. Eight, th eight powerful forces that can better and improve your life. And I want to go to the next force here because of time. The next force that can improve your life is divine power. Oh, yes. Divine power. You see, you need power in your life. Power of God. Power to get things done. Power. You need power in your life. Yes, and, you know, God wants to empower you for your life to be different, for your life to improve. You need power. Power is ability, ability to get things done. And God's divine ability can work for you. So you need to be empowered. You need to be empowered. You know, in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3, the Bible says, according as God's divine power has given to us all things that pertains to life and godliness. His divine power gives us access to all things, all things that pertains to life and godliness, all things that can make your life enjoyable, that can make your life fruitful, that can make your life triumphant, the power of God, divine power will make things happen. You see, when things are not happening, it's because there is a shortage of power. And when we talk about power, we talk about divine ability. We talk about divine strength. Oh yes, power belongs to God. Power comes from God. When we talk about power, we're talking about authority and influence power is authority power is ability power is influence power is you know uh influence to get things done ability authority and strength yes power is strength you need strength you need ability you need influence in your life you also need authority but all this comes from god in psalm 62 Verse 11, it says, Once has God spoken, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. So the power you need to accomplish things, power to get things done, power to, to bring your dreams to reality, power to accomplish your desire, it will come from God. So power can change your life. You know, people who experience change in their life are people who have come in contact with the power of God. 
And God wants to give you power. God wants you to walk in power. Glory be to God. God wants to empower you for your life to change. Thank you, Jesus. In Acts chapter 6, there's a scenario here, something very powerful. In Acts chapter 6, we saw the disciples of Jesus. They carried out a power act. They, they healed somebody. And the people were asking them questions. They were asking them, how, I mean, that would be Acts, Acts, chapter, Acts chapter 4, I beg your pardon, Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 4 and verse number 7. Look at it here. The Bible says, they healed a man who has been impotent from birth. And the religious people, religious leaders in their day, they were, as, they were astonished. They were astounded. How did you get this done? How are you able to do this? Are there things you want to get done in your life? One of the things that can help you to get things done is power. You need power in your life to live a life of victory. You need power. There is economic power. There is uh, natural power. There is mental power, mental prowess. So a life that's going to be victorious is an empowered life. That's why I'm sharing with you the forces that can change your life dramatically is the, the, the power of God. They, Peter and John, the Bible says, they healed a man who had been impotent from his mother's womb. That means they, they handled a problem that has longevity. So it doesn't matter how long a problem has been. Every problem has a solution. Every challenge in life can be fixed. But what we need to handle the challenges in life is the power. So don't try to live your life without power. Don't try to live your life without assessing the power that can bring you victory, the power that can give you authority, the power that can cause you to exercise influence in your life. Because once you are empowered, you're going to be a person of authority, a person of influence, a person of ability. And I'm praying for you today. Oh, we're going to, I believe we're going to pray together. We're going to pray together. I'm going to steer you to pray today. Prayer is simply talking to God. I'm going to steer you in a prayer session. But listen to this. The disciples of Jesus, Peter and John, they healed this man who had been lame from his mother's womb. <laughs> Oh my God, that is even very amazing. The man had been lame from his mother's womb. Mm. My God, this is a problem that came with him from birth. But that same problem was received a solution. So I don't know what the history might be of your challenge in your life. When power comes, Everything can change. Your life can be better. Your, when power comes, things can be different for you. Every one of us. So, and one of the things that bring the change is power. And they, they question them in Acts chapter 4, verse number 7. They ask them, by what power or by what name have you done this? So it takes power to get things done. It takes power to get things done. What is it in your life that needs to be done? You need power to get it done. If things are not getting done, that's why I say power is ability to get things done. Power is influence. You need authority. Oh yes, and in the name of Jesus, whatever needs to be done in your life that's still undone, the power of God will come and fix it for you. The power of God will make it happen for you. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. The question many people, you know, ask is, how can I access the power of God? How can a person access this incredible power of God? Maybe I will share with you two or three ways by which you can access power. The first and primary way to access power is to receive the Lordship of Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior. In John chapter 1, from verse 11 to 12, 
The Bible says Jesus came to his own. His own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. As many as received him, to them he gave power to become. Listen, power has to be given for it to be received. There is, yeah, that's fundamental. Power has to be given for power to be received. So if you want to have power in your life to get this done, power to command, authority to command influence, the strength to change your situation, it has to be received because there is no power that be but of God. All power belongs to God. And God is the one that gives people power. In the name of Jesus, I see the power of God surging in your direction. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive power. You have to receive power for power to flow in your direction. Power has to be received. He came to his own. His own received him not. As many as receive him, to them he gave power to become. What do you want to become? I see the power of God surging in your direction. You receive it. The, yeah, power has to be received. In fact, Jesus himself, when he was in his earthly ministry, Jesus said in Matthew 28 and verse 18, he said, all power, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. All power has been given. So God is the one that gives power. The Bible says, <laughs> oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, it says, Thou shalt remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth. Yeah, even to get wealth is an empowerment that comes from God. He said, you shall remember, Deuteronomy 8, 18, Remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power, the ability to get wealth, the ability to be rich. Power comes from God. Yes, all power. The Bible says there is no power that be but of God. All power that be are of God. Romans 13, verse 1 and 2. All power that be, they are ordained of God. So, Power comes from God. And for you to be empowered, the first thing is that you have to know that power has to be received. Power is given. He said he came to his own. His own received him not. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become. When you receive Jesus, you are receiving eternal life. And you are also receiving divine ability. You are receiving the power of God. To become whatever you want to become. You want to become healed. You want to become saved. You want to become healthy. You want to become prosperous. Once you receive Jesus Christ, that's your access to power. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive that access right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I receive Jesus Christ. You have to receive him. Yeah. You see, it's, this, is, this is understanding of revelation. It's a revelation. That you need to understand. The second way to get power is through prayer. <laughs> through prayer. Prayer is talking to God. Talking to God, the source of power. When you begin to talk to God, you're going to begin to form a bond with God. And the power of God will flow to you. The Bible says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person makes tremendous power available. The effective, effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person, it makes tremendous power available. James chapter 5 verse 16. So power can be generated when you talk to God. Talk to God about your need for power in your life. So that the weaknesses in your life can be overcome by the power of God. So that you can be empowered to be able to handle the challenges that you face in your life. Talk to God. Talk to God about your need for power. Oh yes, that's the second way by which you can get power. You can talk to God about your need for power. Glory be to God. I'll give you one more way by which you can assess power. 
Store the word of God in your heart. Store the word of God in your heart. The Bible says, wherever the word of a king is, there is power. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse number 4. Wherever the word of a king is, there is power. And God is the king of kings. If the word of God is in your heart, the power of God will be available in your life. If the word of God is in your heart, the power of God will be available in your, in your life. So store the word of God in your heart so it can be filled with the power of God. Store the word of God in your heart so it can be filled with the power of God. So you can assess power when you store the word of God in your heart. Yes, the word of God, the Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. The word of God is quick and powerful. There is power in the word of God. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse number 12. The word of God is quick and powerful. So if you want to walk in power, you have to learn to store the word of God in your heart. So your heart can become the citadel of God's power. And the power will flow in your life when you store it up in your heart. Glory be to God. Yes. When you read it and you meditate on it, then you're going to have power in your life. My God, you will not be, you will not be helpless again in the name of Jesus. I see the power of God, you know, flowing and surging in your direction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. I want us to pray together. I want us to pray together. I want us to pray together. Oh, yes. I want, to, I want us to pray together so that your life can change, so your life can be better, so your life can improve. I'm going to encourage you to pray with me in this few minutes that I have left. I'm looking at my time. I spent one hour with you, but I'm going to pray with you right now so that I, I'm trusting God that there's going to be improvement in your life and there's going to be a change in your life. Prayer is talking to God. The first thing I'm going to encourage you to do right now, I'm going to lead you in this prayer. This is the first prayer Then I'm going to pray with you. We're going to pray together. But let me lead you in this prayer. If you don't know Jesus, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you have not received Jesus Christ into your heart, I want to lead you in a simple prayer right now to receive Jesus Christ into your heart. Then we're going to pray together. Yes. If you, have, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior before, just hold on. We're going to pray together. But let me, you know, uh, take this opportunity to help you who have not received Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior. But today you need to receive him. You need to receive him because that is the access, your access to God. Jesus said, no man can come to the Father but by me. You can't receive anything from God except through Jesus Christ. In fact, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So your life will change when you receive Jesus Christ. My life changed when I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about you cultivating a relationship with Jesus. So I want you to say this prayer with me, and I want you to mean it in your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. I know I am a sinner, but I ask you right now to forgive me my sin and give me a new beginning. Jesus, say, say, Jesus, I believe right now that you died for me and you rose again for my justification. So I confess you right now as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying for me. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to die for me. I receive your gift of Jesus right now and I declare and I confess that from this moment, I'm a child of God. I'm born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Congratulations, my friend. If you said that prayer, let me pray for you right now. Father Lord, I pray for this person who has said this prayer giving his life and his heart to you, I pray that your grace that has saved this one, let that same grace keep and preserve this one right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for doing it, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I rejoice with you. 
If you said that prayer at me, I want you to let me know. I want to also, I want to send some materials to you that will help you in your work with God, in your growth with God, wherever you are in the world. Email me, inbox me, or text me. I want to send some materials to you that will help you in your work with God. You can inbox me on Facebook. You can email me. The information is on your screen. And I'm also going to commit to praying for you by name when I hear from you. So don't be shy. Just send me your email. And I'm going, to, I'm going to send some materials to you that will help you in your work and your growth with God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for doing this. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy upon this person right now in Jesus' name. I want to also, I want us to pray together. I want you to talk to God. I want you to talk to God right now concerning your desire, concerning your miracle. I want us to talk to God together. And I'm going to now, you know, wrap the prayer up. So right where you are, I spoke to you today about two forces. I spoke to you today about two forces. Last week, I spoke about two. Today, I spoke about two. My coming brokers, I'm going to be speaking about the remaining four because I want to talk to you about eight things that can change your life. But right now, I want us to pray together where, where you are. The word of God says, if two of us shall agree as touching anything we shall ask, it shall be done. So just open your mouth and talk to God. Say, Father, thank you for sending me your word that has built my faith open your mouth and pray say lord i thank you right now for sending me your word that has built my faith because i believe that your faith has been activated your faith has been built you have heard the word of god that all things are possible to a person who believe begin to say father thank you because i believe all things are possible for me. I know my life will change. I know my condition will change. I know my situation will be transformed. So I thank you now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Thank God that you have received the word of God and that your faith has come alive. Thank God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Father, thank you. Thank you in the name of Jesus for your word that has come to activate faith in the life of my friend. Thank you, Lord, O oh God, for this word that has activated, stimulated this person's faith. I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you, Lord, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let's also agree right now that whatever has been impossible in your life will become possible. Open your mouth and begin to say, Father, Lord, by the faith and my confidence in you, let every impossibility in my life become possible. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Lord, oh God, because I agree with your word, I believe in your word. Turn the impossibility in my life to possibility. In the name of Jesus, let the mountains standing on my way, let them move. I command the mountain to move. I command the mountain to move. I command the barriers to move. In the name of Jesus, I speak possibilities. In every situation, in every circumstance of your life, I speak possibilities. The impossible becomes possible for you right now. In your health, yes, on your job, in your career, in your finances, I command things to change by the power of God. I command things to change. The same way those blind eyes were open, I command your eyes to open to see the miracles that God has positioned for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. And we call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The final prayer uh, topic we're going to pray together is for you to receive power. Yes. Say, Lord, I thank you for giving me power. Say, I receive power right now. G Jesus said, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Just open your mouth and say, in the name of Jesus, I receive power, power to conquer. Power, oh God, Heavenly Father. Power to get things done. Ability, God's ability. Say, I receive it. Open your mouth. That's prayer. Prayer is talking to God. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive divine ability. I receive the power of God. Yes, he said, according as his divine power has given unto me all things that pertains to life and godliness. Lord, let all the things that I need in my life, let it be delivered right now. I receive the authority. I receive the influence. In the name of, I come in agreement with you. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Lord, let your power be delivered. Let your power be delivered into this person's life. Let your power 
to ability come upon this person's life. Let authority, influence, your influence begin to work in this person's life to change his or her situation. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Lord. I give you praise. I give you glory. Let new strength, let new strength be given to this person in his or her inner man. Receive strength in your inner man. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive the strength of God, receive divine ability, receive the power of God to see your story change. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, for doing it. In Jesus' mighty name, I prophesy right now in the name of Jesus, a change of situation in your life. I speak to you prophetically. May your life be colored. May your life be fruitful. May your life begin to experience supernatural and, you know, intervention in your life. If you are sick in your body, I command sickness to go in the mighty name of Jesus. I release healing for you right now. By the stripes of Jesus, I decree your healing. Be everywhere whole in the mighty name of Jesus. I command headache to go, neck pain go, back pain to go, pain in the joints, I command them to go, pain in your abdomen go, eye pain go, deafness go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command every kind of pain to go. Sickness and diseases in the body, I bind you right now. I command Satan's hope broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed by the power of God. Be healed by the power of God. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, thank you for your power. Make this person rich. Make this person whole. Make this person, oh God, strong again. Lord, thank you, oh God, for giving this person power to get wealth. Thank you, Father, for your power of creativity. Let it be unleashed in this person's life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your miracle. God's power is flowing right now, right, right where you are. Just say, I receive my miracle. In fact, stretch forth your hand to the screen and say, I receive. Take, you know, make a move, an action of faith. Say, I receive the power of God. I receive the power of God into my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I would love to hear your testimony. I would love to know what God has done for you. I want to hear from you. I want you to, you know, email me, you know, to share your testimony with me, or you can call me to share your testimony. Let me give you the information right now. And if you need prayer, call me, email me, text me. Let me hear from you. Let me know what God has done in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm excited to hear from you. Before I go also, I want to give you an opportunity to plant your financial seed, to give to, the, to, give to this uh, work of God that God has called me to do. The Bible says, if we have ministered to you, spiritual things, we ought to reap your kind of things. So I want to give you an opportunity right now to plant your financial seed. Listen, God gives seed to the sower. God multiplies the seed you sow. That's how your increase will come. When you give, God will cause men to give to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, Running over, God will cause men to give to your bosom. It's a supernatural way. God will give you favor with people capable of helping you. So I want to encourage you to take a step of faith today. If this word has been a blessing to you, I want you to sow a seed. Yeah, it's a seed of your faith. Release your faith. Faith is action. You have heard the word of God. I want you to plant your financial seed anywhere you are in the world. You can go to our website. Hoffan.org, H-O-F-F-A-N.org. The information is on your screen there. Click the give button. You can give by PayPal. You can give by Cash App. You can text to give. And when you plant your seed, expect God to multiply the seed back to you as harvest. I see harvest coming into your life. I see financial harvest. I see harvest of ideas, favor, and creativity coming your way. But you have to believe God and plant your financial seed. It's a kingdom principle. He said, if we have ministered to you spiritual things, we ought to reap your kind of things. That's how God blesses us. Yes, I've ministered to you by the Spirit of God. Now it's your turn to give to the work of God so that I can continue to do what God has called me to do. 
Yes, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I pray for this person who has been blessed by this word right now. I pray for the giving grace. I pray for the seed that this person will sow. I ask, oh God, that you multiply the seed that is sown and give this person a bountiful harvest based on this seed that is sown in the name of Jesus Christ. I give you praise. I give you glory. I call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Visit the website, hoffan.org. Click the give button. Plant your financial seed and watch God multiply the seed back to you as harvest. Yes, God will bless you mightily as you plant your financial seed. Well, I got to sign out. Uh, before I go, let me also invite you one more time to continue to watch uh, FM TV Live. It's our 24 hours, seven days a week, Faith and Miracle TV Network. If you go uh, on your computer, on the go, on your phone, anywhere, 24 hours, seven days a week, fmtvlive.com. Go there and watch and God will bless you. fmtvlive.com. You can always be blessed there. Go there and watch and share the good news. I also want to you know, invite you to come and worship God with us. We have two powerful services every Sunday morning. If you're in the USA, you're in the Atlanta metro area. If you go to the website, hoffan.org, you can, you can see the location and the times of our services. Come and be a part of our services anywhere you are. And we also have church on Sunday night. Yes, if you're in the Atlanta metro area, if you are in um, Hiram, uh, Dallas area, Cobb County, anywhere in Georgia, you can come. Church on Sunday night is very powerful. 6 to 8 p.m. every every Sunday, 6 to 8 p.m. We have church on Sunday night. Be a part of it. It's going to be a blessing to you. Come and be a part of church on Sunday night, and your life is not going to be the same again. But you can join us on Sunday morning also. We have powerful services on Sunday morning, two powerful locations. I'm going to be looking forward to seeing you. So go to the website, offer.org. Check out all our services, and we're going to be looking forward to seeing you. Well, I got to sign out right now. I want to thank you for being with me. Yes, I see my wife has been on. Oh, my God. Lots of you have been on. Uh, HOD Radio has been on. Thank you for being on. Um, yes. Oh, Sister Kim, God bless you from Cedar Town. Sister Kim is on. God bless you. Yes, our beloved daughter in the Lord. Yes, I got to give you a, a shout out. Thank you for being on. God bless you. All right. Yes, my wife has been on. Woman of God, thank you for sharing this and also, you know, participating in this. My wife, thank God for your life. Amen. God bless you, man of God. Thank you for being on. HOD Radio has been on. Yes. HOD Radio has been on. Yes. HOD Radio has been on. Thank you for being on HOD Radio. Yes. FMTVLive.com. Keep watching. And God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, I got to sign out right now. Until I come your way again next time, this is Bishop O. Allah for reminding you that Jesus loves you. And so do I. Shalom. God bless you.